Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how irritable bowel syndrome differs from chronic constipation. First, let's understand what irritable bowel syndrome with chronic constipation is. It is a common chronic gastrointestinal disorder caused by slow passage of food through the intestine, problems with bacteria, hormones or chemicals in the intestines, miscommunication between the brain and our bowel, or family history of irritable bowel syndrome with chronic constipation or other digestive disorders. And the symptoms are painful bloating, excessive gas, infrequent bowel movements, more than quarter of the stools are hard or lumpy, feeling like there is a rock or block in our stomach, and feeling that the, your bowel can't pass stools completely. It's not life-threatening. However, we may also experience gastroesophageal reflux disease, indigestion, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, chronic pelvic pain, anxiety, depression, food intolerances, sometimes small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Treatment for irritable bowel syndrome with chronic constipation focuses on reducing the symptoms as well as improving the overall quality of life. Lifestyle remedies can go a long way supporting medical approaches for treatment of irritable bowel syndrome with constipation. In rarer cases, constipation may be chronic and caused by pelvic floor dysfunction which may make it difficult to coordinate muscle movements in the rectum taste in the anus or rectum, narrowing of the colon, also called as bowel stricture, endocrine and metabolic disorders such as diabetes and hypothyroidism, neurological diseases such as multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury and stroke, mental health problems like depression, anxiety and eating disorders, physical disabilities which may lead to immobility and few of the bowel diseases like Crohn's disease, colonic cancer, diverticulosis and irritable bowel syndrome. And the symptoms are if it lasts 3 months or more, disrupts a person's life and daily functioning and does not resolve with change in diet or exercise, only resolves with the prescription medications. The following people are at higher risk of experiencing chronic constipation. Females, people over the age of 65, women who are pregnant, people who don't engage in physical activity or are confined to bed due to physical disability such as spinal cord injury. Treating chronic constipation relies heavily on the cause. If the underlying condition is diagnosed, chronic constipation is likely to subside by targeting treatment on the root cause. Other treatment options include dietary changes, laxatives, pelvic floor exercises and in rare cases surgery. A person should speak with a healthcare professional if he or she is experiencing persistent, recurring or unexplained digestive symptoms.